Hey guys, this is Alex over at Boost Controlled Performance. Wanted to do another quick video on how to get your access port set up for your e-tune. A common problem that some people have is they think that they're setting the right logging parameters, but maybe they're not. Uh, I wanted to show you guys that there is a difference between the gauges and the logging parameters that I send you on the loggable parameter list. So once your access port is fired up, you can do this with the car running or with the car off. doesn't really matter. Um, I, I assume by now you know how to navigate the access port. So we're going to go over to gauges. Now the gauges screen is not meant to be confused with the logging parameter screen. All these gauges are doing is simply just showing you what's happening in real time. So these parameters are not being logged. It's just for your viewing pleasure. You're going to use the up and down arrow to navigate up to setup. Say the green arrow, setup. Here you're going to configure data logging. And now you'll be able to select the parameters that we request. Uh, every tuner has different parameters that they want to see. So that's why we have a customized list on our our boost controlled performance support page. But um, say I wanted you to log the catalyst temperature, you're just gonna select that. So you're gonna add that. Let's say I want you to remove calculated load. You can deselect it. So I'm gonna put those back to how they were when we're ready to save. We're just gonna press back and then it saves it. And then like always to start your data log, just press the center button until you see the lights flashing and then you know that you're data logging. Another thing that I suggest people to do is delete your data logs on your access port before you start the tuning process. That way you don't have to guess at the numbers. Um, it sets the data logging numbers in a sequential order and let's say you had a bunch of logs left on it from before. Sometimes it's hard to tell which log is which. If you're going to be starting the data log process with us, I would suggest clearing the data logs and starting fresh. So if anybody has any other comments, feel free to post them in the comments. If anybody has any questions or comments, I should say. And hopefully that helps everybody make sure that they can get their data logging parameters set up the first time. Thanks a lot. And if you guys have any tuning questions at all, don't hesitate to reach out to us.